So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of AMC's Corner. How are you all doing out there? So it occurs to me it's been a while since we did a, a repair time-lapse video. So uh, I got this Chevy 2500 here that has a little transfer case issue that we've been seeing more and more lately. So yeah, let me get this thing up on the lift. I've just got it sitting here at an angle to drain all the, the snow melt out of the bed. You know, a lot of people don't realize if there's water in the bed, you end up with it on your head when you get it on the lift or on your floor. So yeah, let me get this thing in and let's show you guys a really troubling pattern failure on these GMC transfer cases. All right, guys, we got this rig up on the lift here. Let me show you the problem. Now, let's uh, let me find a way to illuminate this. So we can see now right there is a little pinhole. Uh, what it is, there's a shaft in here. This will be like the boss molding for it. And it's held in with a little retaining clip. That retaining clip is made out of spring steel and it shatters against the side of this case and over time you end up with that right there and what happens is all the fluid gets blown out of the transfer case you don't catch it in time and the transfer case blows up internally which is what happened here uh, we're not going to be able to take it apart because there's a core on this transfer case because we used a GM remanufactured case right here here's the new one and uh, yeah, here's where, you know, the wear hole would have been. So yeah, we get a new one to put in and uh, it's kind of late in the day. I got to get cranking on this thing. So let's have at it.
All right, guys, we got that out. Took about uh, oh, about 45 minutes or so, not too bad. And uh, yeah, there's the big hole. Just uh, cleaning up the gasket surface, getting rid of all the junk stuff up in there. But uh, that's where the transfer case would have been. And here we have it on the bench. We can get a better look at what's uh, what goes on with these things. So uh, let me see if we can get the light up to hang out for us here. All right, and there you can see the hole. If I move the input shaft a little bit, you can see how that thing gnaws away. That little piece of hardened metal right there, just woody woodpeckers its way out the side of the case. You know, just like a, just like an alien chest burster waiting for its time to bust out and ruin your day. You know, this isn't a cheap case. This one here, this new one. I guess I didn't want the battery in my light anyway. Well, anyway, yeah, the new ones here, this is about uh, the better part of $2,000 just for the reman transfer case here. But, you know, you got a big brick of a truck without it. But, uh, yeah, all of this just for one little design deficiency. Way to go, GM. Way to go. Well, all right, boys, I got about two more hours left in the day, and I don't want to be running to the last minute getting this thing out the door. So, uh, all right, time to get back to work.
right guys, that wasn't too bad of a job. Not too bad of a job to do, but man, you shouldn't have to do it. You know, General Motors, or new process, has been building transfer cases for long enough to know that, you know, you can't have something hard steel rubbing against something aluminum like that. But uh, all the new replacement transfer cases I've been told have been updated. They have a some sort of sleeve in there to keep that from happening. So this transfer case in this truck will never have that problem again. You know, it's not really hard to do in you know, two, two and a half hours or so, no big deal, but boy, that uh, $2,000 just for the part. And then you add the gasket, the fluid, the time, and the labor, it comes out to just a hair under 2,500 bucks for something that really shouldn't have been an issue. Although, you know, this truck here has, and take a look, 212,000, 211,000 miles on it, so, what GM would say in a case like this is it's normal wear and tear and you got your use out of it. But um, I've seen that on, on trucks with lower mileage. I've seen that about 140,000 on some of these things. They'll have that wear hole. Now, if you catch that wear hole early enough, you see it, it, it starts out as a tiny little hole. If you catch it early enough and you don't run the transfer case out of fluid like this this, this truck here did, it, uh, it burnt up all the bearings in the case. That thing howled like a like a banshee but um if you don't wait that long you can get away with some silicone sealant in that hole for a good long time and uh and it'll keep the fluid in there it'll cut it'll stop that from uh you know being such a thing but there really is no permanent fix for it i know a lot of people are looking for something that's going to last you know a hundred thousand miles the trouble is that little woodpecker that little metal pecker is going to be in there doing its damage you know even if you seal it up so Way to go, General. Way to go, the General. Another good design, but, you know, I look at it as uh, job security. You know, at least uh, at least no one makes a perfect car. If they did, then I wouldn't be able to, to make any money fixing them. But anyways, guys, <coughs> I hope you don't have a problem like that in anything you own. And if you do, well, it's all fixable. But anyways, it's late. Get this thing finished up on this road test. I got to get home and do my... Uh, do my relaxing for the night. And on that note, and until next time, guys, keep it out of the cabbage.